Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to design uh, or begin designing the top part of your nightlight which you see here. Uh, it's going to be a clear acrylic with some kind of uh, logo or image engraved onto it. Uh, you could even, for example here, cut holes or have a slightly more interesting shape than just a rectangle. So I'm going to continue where I left off from on 2D design. Uh, this is your base and you should have these holes in it for the electronic parts and these slots for where the top part of your uh, nightlight slots in here. Okay, so what I want you to do uh, is first select everything you've done so far and we're just going to click on this middle yellow square here and we're going to drag it down because we're going to work in this area here. Now. Uh, we need to slot into these holes. So what I would do is click on line here and go for the second object to draw a series of connected lines. Um, from the side here, we're going to imagine we're, we're drawing something that's going to slot in. So if I start the bottom of my, um, I'm going to zoom in here, start the bottom of my uh, nightlight top here by clicking on the dots and then going down then across as if I'm making teeth that will go into these holes here I'm going to go up a section and this is to give the LED space where the LED pokes out like so and then I'm going to start going across again and then have another tooth like so I just keep clicking until I've got like a sort of tooth um, layout here which will slot in. Now from that point I'm going to go up. Now if I look at my rail numbers down here I'm going to go up um, about 50 millimeters. That's the sort of minimum you want. Now if you want to be boring you could just go across and then go back down. You could have a rectangle. That could be the top part of your nightlight and we could just put an image on there. To round the corners you could just use this arc option on the bottom here uh, and then you could set your radius, for example, five millimeters here. Click, 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 click. And that's quite boring. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these parts. Uh, and I'm going to, if I hold down shift, uh, the shift button on the keyboard, and then deselect that circle, I'm just going to drag across uh, the top part now. So that's your base, and this is the top of your nightlight. Now that's quite boring. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how to import an image. Uh, remember this is for a child, so what I've done is I've just searched up an image that I think would appeal um, to young children here, Peppa Pig. Try and find a simple image, a few colours, not too complicated, not too much detail. Um, when you found an image, uh, if you right click and then click on copy, and then go back to 2D design, right click and then paste. Now the laser cutter, it doesn't print colours, it doesn't um, actually uh, do anything that, that's like printing it just cuts so what you need to do is you need to convert this image into a series of lines and to do that we use a thing called bitmap so if you select the object and then go up here uh, click bitmap and then vectorize bitmap at the bottom and you click on the object what this does is it converts that picture into a series of lines and now it's easiest if we click monochrome it's just black and white but you can't really see anything and that's because we need to play around with the luminance we can go up or we can go down and we can choose the luminance so that would work quite well I think All right, I'm gonna leave it there and then click OK and then OK again uh, just give it a moment and then you'll end up with an image which is this can laser cut now because this is just lines but with the solid black, that's going to take a long time to laser cut. So if you just select it again, um, we're going to take the fill off. So fill, no fill. All right, that's quite a nice image for a child. Uh, and if I click on this middle yellow square, I can move it and put it something like there. Okay, now you can see, I'm going to put it a bit higher, that it. I could shrink it. If you hold shift when you do this, it keeps the proportions. I could shrink it and put it on there. I could laser cut that and then that would engrave. Um, but you might want to make a more interesting shape. So if I enlarge it again using those yellow grip points, I'm going to go quite big like that. 
Um, what I would like is a nice curved outline. Um, the way you can do that is by using this contour tool. So if I click here contour and I change, let's change the spacing to five millimeters, for example, and then just click on the outside of Peppa Pig here. Can you see how it's gone around the whole object? Now I don't want to go around the whole thing, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my line tool like that, and I'm going to continue up from here to that point, and I'm going to continue from here to that point, uh, and then I'm going to use this delete option, delete part of an object, and I'm just going to delete all of the lines I don't want. Remember, these are the teeth at the bottom here, these slot into your base. Okay, now be careful what you're clicking, you don't want to erase something uh, accidentally. But if you make a mistake, like if I deleted that by accident, then I can just go edit, undo. Um, so delete all the bits you don't want. Um, if, I'm just going to delete that whole line. All right, that's got this nice curved shape on the top and I think that would be more attractive to a child. <laughs> Um, the only thing you need to remember at this point is that black is going to engrave, but we need a red outline. So I'm going to select everything. I'm going to change the line color here to red, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to click on Peppa Pig and then change the line color back to black for her. Or is it him? I'm not sure. But there you go. Now you've got a black line that will engrave and a red outline that will laser cut. And this slots in here. And I've got a little gap here where the LED will poke through. So that would appear something like that. And as you can see, uh, there are the, the little gaps there where it can slot in. Okay, so give it a go. Make sure you save regularly. Yeah, file, save. Um, keep pausing the video, going back to check that you're doing things correctly. Good luck.